Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. What you see in front of you is the Google map of all the FEMA concentration camps. I'm bringing you here first to give you the reality that they are there, they have been mapped, and um, now I want to bring you over to this uh, nice post by the Friends of Liberty uh, that addresses these FEMA camps, uh, the locations, and the executive orders. Uh, and I'm doing this because many of you may know a lot of this stuff, but what I'm seeing overall, the general public has no clue as to what the hell is going on with this government. Um, this is a dictatorship uh, similar to Hitler as far as I'm concerned. And we saw in the last few days that Louisiana has filed a petition to peacefully secede from the United States, which I encourage, I endorse all of our governors marching on Washington, arresting Obama and anyone else like him, throwing the Congress, the Senate, and the House all out the fucking door. We don't need a president. We need our governors to run this country. That will return power back to the people. Nobody needs to stay in Washington. We need to do away with Washington, D.C., wipe that off the map, uh, not physically, but on paper, because that's the only way it really exists. It's just a piece of paper. Um, and anyway, let's, uh, there's 800 FEMA camps. We showed you the map. Uh, this talks about the Rex 84 uh, program, Operation Cable Splicer and Garden Plot. Now, I'll link you to this. You can go read the whole article, but I want to overview these executive orders for you for those that have no clue about how much power the government actually has. And after I read these, I want you to take a minute, sit by yourself in a dark place, and think, am I really safe? Uh, who am I being protected from? I, we don't need this protection. What we need is a lot of love to take care of each other, and many of us that have balls to protect ourselves. We have an awesome military. Uh, we don't need to be going to foreign lands to protect ourselves. And these executive orders uh, should show you that you're not free, that you are a slave. And at any moment, you could be made to do anything that the executive branch decides that they will have you do. Uh, you don't own anything. Um, it's just a fallacy because as soon as somebody decides that they want what you have, uh, they're going to take it. And now, if this seems unreasonable to you, I want to remind you that the Occupy movement is technically a major uprising, has been going on for over a year. So, at any moment, Obama could institute martial law. And when we read through these executive orders, you'll see that he can do whatever the fuck he wants, and it cannot be reviewed by Congress for six months. Well, after six months of taking everything you have, putting you into a camp, making you do what you're told to do, there isn't going to be a Congress to review anything. So let's get into on this. Executive Order 10990 allows the government to take all over all modes of transportation and control of highways and seaports. Executive Order 10995 allows the government to seize and control the communication media. Executive Order 10997 allows the government to take over all electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuels, and minerals. Little side note, they already control the media. Uh, anyway, back to this. Executive Order 10998 allows the government to seize all means of transportation, including personal cars, trucks, or vehicles of any kind, and total control over all highways, seaports, and waterways. Executive Order 10999 allows the government to take over all food resources and farms. Executive Order 11000 allows the government to mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision. Executive Order 11001 allows the government to take over all health, education, and welfare functions. Executive Order 11002 designates the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons. Executive Order 11003 allows the government to take over all airports and aircraft, including commercial aircraft. Executive Order 11004 allows the Housing and Finance Authority to relocate communities, build new housing with public funds, designate areas to be abandoned, and establish new locations for populations. 
Executive Order 11005 allows the government to take over all railroads, inland waterways, and public storage facilities. Executive Order 11051 specifies the responsibility of the Office of Emergency Planning and gives authorization to put all executive orders into effect in time of increased international tensions and economic or financial crisis. Executive Order 11310 grants authority to the Department of Justice to enforce the plan set out in executive orders to institute industrial support to establish judicial and legislative liaison to control all aliens to operate penal and correctional institutions and to advise and assist the President. Executive Order 11049 assigns emergency preparedness function to federal departments and agencies consolidating 21 operative executive orders issued over a 15-year period. Executive Order 11921 allows the Federal Emergency Preparedness Agency to develop plans to establish control over the mechanisms of production and distribution of energy sources, wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money in the U.S. financial institution in any undefined national emergency. It also provides undefined national emergency, so any reason they want. They call it a national emergency. It, it wouldn't matter. Anything. Uh, a flu pandemic would be enough to do all this. It also provides that when a state of emergency is declared by the president, Congress cannot review the action for six months. That's scary. Uh, we have no way to keep him in check. We do have a way to keep him in check. There is a petition. The link will be below to arrest his ass. Anyway, back to this. Uh, the Federal Emergency Management Agency has broad powers in every aspect of the nation. General Frank Ciseldo, chief of FEMA's Civil Security Division, stated in a 1983 conference that he saw FEMA's role as a new frontier in the protection of individual and governmental leaders from assassination and of civil military installations from sabotage and or attack, as well as prevention of dissident groups from gaining access to U.S. opinion or a global audience in time of crisis. FEMA's powers were consolidated by President Carter. Uh, and then it goes on for some of the National Security Acts. I'm going to link you to this. You can check it all out. I'm going to put a link below. We'll go there and show it to you now so that you know it's real. But again, there is uh, a petition to impeach President Obama. Uh, this has doubled in just one day, folks. Uh, yesterday there was only 500 and something. Now there's over 1,000 uh, signatures on this. Uh, we need to take this country back, and we need to take this country back in a short amount of time, uh, a very short amount of time. And if we don't, you can expect that you're going to end up in one of these little blue dots that you see on the map. Anyway, much love. All the links will be below. Please do your research. Take a minute by yourself and think, am I really free? Uh, are all these executive orders necessary for my protection? <coughs> and I know the sheep are going to say, but we really need this, and they're going to have a list of reasons why, and I want you to keep in mind that since the 50s you've been fluoridated. Your water has had a toxin added to it called fluoride that most people think is good for your teeth, but what it does to your brain is creates passiveness and removes critical thinking. You need to factor in all these things before you make any decisions. Now the election is done and gone. We can't worry about uh, who's going to be elected anymore, but what we can do is take this fucking country back. We are the United States of America. That means we are individual sovereign states who have the ability to govern ourselves, and we come together only for the issues that involve all of us mutually. But the president has gone way beyond that, and he controls everything. And Congress isn't going to protect you, as you saw. He can do whatever the fuck he wants, and it'll take six months for Congress to review it. I think in six months of the president doing whatever the fuck he wants, we won't have a Congress. Anyway, much love. It's time to stand up, folks. And I don't want this uh, video or any of my videos to be mistaken as I am against my country. I love my country. What I'm against is the powers that are in control of my country. Louisiana, again, has already filed to peacefully secede. You can Google that up. You can find out about that. And I advise everybody to contact their governors and give them the, the information about Louisiana wanting to secede and endorse every state to secede from the Union. We're not going to secede from each other. 
And again, what we need right now is a lot of love and a lot of balls. So the remix button will be below. If you want to remix this, please do. Share the links with your friends, anybody that questions it. Feed them the information. Make them see. And tell them to take that pause by themselves and really think about what's going on in this country. Much love. Many thanks. I'll see you.